What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? Uh, before I start, please excuse the noise you hear in the background. I'm driving. And, you know, sometimes I'm so busy, man. I, I don't have time to sit down in front of my computer and grab the videos perfectly. And I just sometimes I just don't have time. So I got to talk to y'all while I'm driving. And that's just the way that is. What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all about this guy? What did I what did I try to explain to each and every one of y'all about this guy? I told y'all about this dude. But, you know, a lot of brothers didn't want to listen to me. A lot of brothers didn't want to listen, didn't care to listen. You know, I, I told y'all, I mean, y'all gonna ride for this dude, and this dude, he's going to disappoint you. And what, what has happened? You know, I'm just waiting on, on, on the comments. I want y'all to tell me, hey, coach, man, you, man, coach, you're right again. That's the only thing I want to hear, coach. You was right again. Yeah, coach, I know you called it, coach. You called it. That, that's because, see, I, I told y'all about this dude. You see, let me tell y'all something. Anybody, first of all, his dad, you know, used the N-word. Tiffany Lopez was fighting a black fighter, and his dad said, hey, you know what? <laughs> you need to go over there. You need to do something to that N-word. You need to walk that N-word down. I told him that in the corner. Andre Ward said something about it. Okay, Andre Ward mentioned it like, yo, man, he shouldn't be saying that on national TV, man. Do we not know that the cameras are watching him? And, you know, evidently, I guess he didn't care if the cameras were watching him. I'm not trying to hear that, okay? You not, and then, too, okay, if you have a Hispanic last name and you're trying to tell me that what Tiafimo Lopez isn't racist, if you, okay, I know you ride for Tio, I'm not going to even listen to you. I'm just going to block you immediately. I'm just going to block you immediately. You ain't no coming back, okay? Make up another account or just don't come back. But I'm going to block you. Look, man, if you live at home with a racist, then you're taught racist ideologies. That's just what it is, okay? I never rode for this dude. As soon as I heard that, nah, I ain't riding for him. I ain't riding for him. You know, and it seems like more and more now, the more, the more that I put videos on this channel, the more that I'm just starting to figure out, like, God, dog, okay, who, who's not going to disappoint me? Like, who's not going to disappoint me? You know, even, uh, I mean, the fighters that I rock with, they're not disappointing me. I mean, is it safe for me to really support a fighter of another nationality? Is, is, is that safe? Because every time I do it, I just feel like, hey, you know, the person, they disappoint you. They say some stuff that's just, you thinking like, God, dog. So tell me this. All the stuff that Vasily Lomachenko has been saying. You know, I mean, Vasily came around, he started complaining about his shoulder. I mean, guys, what did Tiafimo Lopez say about the shoulder? Did he call Vasily a B? Did he call Vasily Lomachenko a female dog? Nah, he ain't call him that. But you want to call the black man. You want to come in, you want to get savage on the black guy. See, man, I get it. I get it. Look, man, I'm not even trying to hear that. I ain't trying to hear nothing else. Okay? Where's your energy for Vasily, Tiafimo? Where, where's that same energy? Where's the same energy? I don't, I, I don't understand. Y'all got to tell me, where's that energy? How do you explain this? Or when Andy Ruiz was talking about, well, you know, he could have won, but he didn't take the fight camp seriously. You didn't call Andy Ruiz that. See, I, you know what? It's a thing, man. And I'm really, really starting to just get it, man. And, and I'm almost starting to just become like, okay, do I just support black fighters? I mean, what? because, you know, when, when you look at a fighter, like, God, this fighter can fight. Man, this fight is good. Like, man, you know, Tiafima Lopez can fight. I was saying that. Then, you know, heard his dad say that, that N-word in the corner, and it's like, okay, messed it all up. Done. That's it. You know, y'all, I've always said, and I keep saying that the problem in this country and in the world, it's not race. The problem is never race. It's always racism. The problem is not race, it's racism. And then when you have people who are apologists for racism, well, you guys really are just as much as part of the problem. Because, you know, it started reminding me of this, oh, well, black people are always crying about racism. Black people are always whining. You know, that, that kind of put me in a mindset. Oh, black people crying about racism again. Black people crying about this. Black people crying about that. Well, yeah, okay, it is what it is. But, you know, racism or bigotry just mess up everything it just it, it legit messes up everything like people i kid you not i kid you not i can't you can't even go to a comment section and i'm gonna tell you how bad you can't even go to a comment section 
You can look at a news tele- a new telecast, watching the news. And if somebody, if there's a black, if there's a black like a, a host, TV host, you may get a thousand comments and nobody say anything. But then you'll get somebody. They they're gonna always bring up the fact that the person, man, boy, that black guy's he, he's really dark, isn't he? Or you know, man, you know, man, he's the only black guy. Man, huh? He's a very educated, well-spoken black guy. Always got to bring up race. Always. It don't matter. And it can be something that ain't told. It's totally unrelated. Totally unrelated. But guess what, man? The problem in this country isn't race. It's racism. That's the problem. It's always a problem. And this guy going to shock you even more because he going to come out with even more. He going to say some. See, Tia Fimo going to say some stuff. And I'm going to tell y'all. He gonna catch a lot of y'all off guard, but he ain't, he ain't caught me off guard. Cause, cause a lot of y'all ride for him. A lot of y'all ride for him and, oh, you know, Tia Fimo Lopez is this, he this. And not even cause he criticizing Wilder. You know, I don't care if, that, if that's his thing. If he gonna criticize everybody, okay, well, okay, good. Criticize Vasil. Criticize him cause he talked about his shoulder. You know, he's still saying that, well, you know, I had shoulder surgery and he's showing the photographs and, you know, if my shoulder wasn't bad, I could have I could have won the fight. That's what he's saying. Nah, Teofimo Lopez ain't got that same energy for Vasil. He ain't got that same energy, man. None at all. Yeah, I get it. I know. I know you, man. I know you, man. Oh, man, why coach got to come out here and make that video? I, I know you, man, but look, ain't, ain't nothing you can do about it. Ain't nothing you can do about it except for listen. And either you're going to accept the truth or you just going to get mad and thumb the video. That's it. That, those are your choices. Those are your choices, but you don't get to come in here and tell me what I need to think and how I need to respond. No, you don't get that opportunity. And you might you might not be lucky enough to get to leave your comment. You see, I control the comments on here. And whether you want your comments seen or not, I control it. You can type a soliloquy and I can just say delete if I don't want it. You see, that's what we get around here. We get... A, a, a really a, a really good chat, hassle-free environment on this channel. So you can't come in and dog somebody out. Well, if you say something to them, I'll just allow them to respond to you. And then I love to do this with the ladies. You know, like somebody say something about one of the ladies, and I'll let I'll let, I'll let them respond. The ladies to respond, they can respond, and then the guy will try to respond, and then he'll be sitting there leaving a bunch of comments. I love that. Y'all don't get a voice. Y'all don't get a voice. Okay. <laughs> you get nothing. Sorry. I definitely ain't rolling for this guy. And I, I wasn't rolling for the guy back then. And don't even say, oh, well, you wasn't rolling for him because, you know, uh, he criticized Wilder. Nah, I wasn't rolling with this guy before he criticized Wilder. Matter of fact, I was pulling for Vasily Lomachenko to beat this clown. I was pulling for Vasily Lomachenko to beat the clown. Me. Go check the receipts, okay? So don't come on here and say, oh, man, you just got a problem with TFP, man. Somebody come on here because he's Hispanic. Not even. I had a lot of Hispanic fighters I like. You know who Alexa Grazo is? Nah, y'all don't know who Grazo is. Cut it out. And y'all definitely don't know who Karina Rodriguez is. I know y'all don't know that. Because if you knew who Karina Rodriguez is, and if you knew how I speak highly of her, your whole mindset, you would just shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. Now, Deontay Wilder gonna pull up on this dude, and I'm doubling down. Yeah. Yeah, I want Deontay Wilder to go jack him up. I want Deontay Wilder to jack him up. And then let's see what kind of trash talk he talked in when Deontay Wilder sitting there right in his face. Oh yeah, and by the way, and by the way, oh he can do he friends with Tyson Fury. He can just go look, street fight. Street fight, street fight, different. Street fight different. Totally different. Tyson Fury get Tyson Fury get messed up in a street fight. I'm telling you now, all that boxing and all that stuff, he tried that man look. In a street fight, Tyson Fury would get his ass whooped. Tiafima Lopez is gonna get G-checked. Trust me.